Yo, what is up everyone? Chris here and today I have all the questions that you guys have given me. I have at least 12 questions to answer so I thank you all for giving me your questions and for me to answer them. I'll be happy to answer them. And I also have the giveaway winners for the giveaway I have done or announced last week. So before I get into that, I want you guys to know the gameplay you are seeing in the background is Bulletstorm. This game is really awesome. I had this game for a while now, never touched it ever since, but I actually started playing it today and it was really really good it was a really good game so I just started playing that and hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background so let's get right to the questions so something you guys are waiting for all right so the first question comes f comes from cod danger for and he asks how did you first get started on YouTube well when I first started got on YouTube I started doing Call of Duty Halo 4 um, Dead Space 3 Gears of War Judgment I started playing those games I started trolling in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and then I started going on to Halo 4 playing some mini games in Halo 4 and then I started playing some Dead Space 3 making some funny moments out of that and then I started getting to Minecraft like I said my I started doing adventure maps in Minecraft started playing some Hunger Games and that's what I started doing. That's how I got started on YouTube. Trolling on Call of Duty was like the main way I got into YouTube. But that hopefully that answers that question. So thank you, Cod Danger, for giving me the question. And let's move on to the next person. So D Man One Five Four asks, "How did you become so awesome?" <laughs> well, I didn't become. Well, I don't consider myself awesome. I'm just a normal person. Post videos on the internet. I don't. So thanks for the compliment, dude. I really do appreciate it. If you think I'm awesome, then I'm awesome, but I don't think I'm awesome. Just a normal person just having fun on YouTube. And yeah, thanks for the question and compliment, dude. So the next question we are moving on to, my friend Kenny asks, If you went into a chasm only to find a glowing orb, and upon breaking said orb, a meteor came down and crashed down onto the face of the planet, completely obliterating an entire chunk of land while keeping most of the land intact, how would you feel? Well, I would feel terrified. I would be scared to. I would honestly take a poop in my pants if I see that in front of my face. Cause honestly, that's a terrifying and scary sight. Cause like, come on, if you see a a, a meteor just chop the whole entire chunk of land off, you see that like just seeing that just you just want to take a poop and pee in your pants. You know what I mean? That's crazy, man. <laughs> that's just really. I, I'll be just terrified. It's, Crazy, crazy sight, man. How would you feel if just a meteor came right to close to your face and you... Yeah, yeah. You know what you know what I'm trying to say, man. I'll be scared. So, yeah, let's move on to the next question. Alright, so, Lid422 asks, Why do you not have more subscribers? Well, I'm completely fine on where I'm at right now. I'm sitting at a thousand subscribers and I'm com I'm really appreciative person. I don't I don't like to ask for more, but if I do, I'm honestly, my channel's growing at a steady pace and I'm happy that it is. And I really... Thank you guys for getting me to a thousand subscribers. But you know, I'm not a person who act, likes to ask for more acts for like subscribers. Cause honestly, I'm just really happy on where I'm at right now, sitting at this number right now. Cause this number is just huge. So that hopefully that answers that question. Let's move on to the next. All right. So Ralph the Dog Master asks, "What's your favorite feature in Minecraft?" Well, the my favorite feature in Minecraft has to be that there's cats. Honestly. Cats are so useful and helpful. They just basically prevent you from screaming because honestly, if I were to just like make my own house and at nighttime making my house like do 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 making my house, you know, I got making my house and I, I, while I'm making the house and I see a creeper behind me or hear that creeper sound, that's I'm that's creepy. Like come on, I honestly yell and get scared that that I actually jump out of my seat when that does happen because it is a scary. Like little sound, cause honestly you're gonna blow up, and it's just a little crazy thing. So cats are really useful, really, really useful, and that's my favorite feature in Minecraft, along with the height of build of of the the height limit in Minecraft. Wow, I couldn't even speak. So that is what I'm really. Though that's basically my fe favorite feature in Minecraft. The cats, the cats will help you. Let's move on to the next. <laughs> Let's go on to the next. All right. So that yeah. one's when he says, "How old are you?" Well, I'm 16 years old and I'm a junior right now. And that being said, since I'm a junior, this year is going to be really tough in high school. And if you'll, oh wait, for, for those of you who don't know what junior it is, it's 11th grade in high school. So I'm in 11th grade. And that being said, 
And since I'm in junior, this year is going to be really tough. There's going to be a lot of tests at the end of the year. And I'm going to have to focus on education and f have to focus on the tests. So if you guys don't see at least one or two videos a week, I'm going to, I'm going to like let you, I'm going to apologize ahead of time because school comes first, education comes first. YouTube is my hobby and I really enjoy it. I would really love to do YouTube, but education has to come first because I am looking forward to going to college in the future. So that's what I have to say right now. I'm 16 years old. I'm a junior 11th grade and just want to let you know, you know, let you guys know ahead of time that if there's no uploads once two week, I'm focusing on school, doing my homework, studying for tests. So just to let you guys know ahead of time. So that answers the question for that. So let's go to the next one. So the third telecast asks, whoa he asks what do you plan on for the future well i think you mean to say like what i plan on future for youtube so what i plan in the future is to play different games on my channel put different games more variety on my channel for more people to watch i'm gonna put like gta 5 um uh, call of duty ghosts i want to do all that stuff i like that's what I want to do, put Call of Duty and GTA 5. More games are than Minecraft. I love Minecraft with a passion, but I want to put other games out there for a larger audience when, like, you... For that way, more variety in my channel. So that's what I really want to do for the future and make them unique as well. Making them fun just funny moments, because I know you guys enjoy the fun or funny moments that I do put on my channel. I have enjoyed them as... I enjoy making them, and you guys enjoy them, enjoy watching them. So I'm honestly going to continue making more. So that's what I plan on the future. Put more variety to my channel other than Minecraft. So that is that. <laughs> Let's go on to the next. So my friend Tommy asks, what are my thoughts on Xbox One and PS4? Now, to what I'm going to be getting is going I'm gonna be getting the Xbox One. Because most of my friends are going to be getting that. I don't want to get a console that none of my friends have, and I'm not gonna have as much fun. So I'm going to get the Xbox One. I know it's a bit pricey. I'm not going to be getting it the day it comes out or anytime soon. Hopefully in the future, I definitely will get it. But I don't know when I'm going to be getting it. But that's the one I'm going to be getting. I have nothing against PS4 other than the controller. The controller is just not my thing. It really is uncomfortable. The controller just does not fit my hand. Like, it's just so small. Like, I cannot. It's just not comfortable. Like, I had a PlayStation 1 and 2. Those were fine because I, were, I was little. But now I'm, like, 16. And I'm, like, no, this, this, this can't do. So, I moved on to Xbox. And now the Xbox controllers are just awesome. I like they're comfortable. And I can actually grip them more than a uh, PS4 controller. So, that's what I have to say. Getting the Xbox One because I want to play with my friends, have more fun. And all the games are going to be coming out. Even though PS4 is more exclusive. I know I'm not. I don't care the, that much about that. As long as I get to play with my friends, which is just awesome to play with my friends and you guys. So that's what I think about Xbox One and PS4. So let's go on to the next question. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So Venom Fusion asks, "Who is your favorite Minecraft Xbox Live YouTuber?" Well, I normally don't watch Minecraft Xbox 360 YouTubers. I normally watch PC Minecraft YouTubers such as Jerome SF, um, Bayesian Canadian. I, I I watch those type of people, Team Craft. I like watching their videos. But if I would, if I had to choose a uh, Minecraft YouTuber, I would say Stamping Long Nose because he he makes great commentary. Like his commentary is very entertaining, along with the Minecraft videos that he does on his channel. So I would say Stampy Long Nose because he's pretty entertaining, in my opinion. So that answers that question. Let's go to <laughs> let's go to the next. <laughs> All right. So my friend Zombie Gamer eighty eight um wants to know what do I think about title update twelve. Well, for Title Update 12, it's a huge, massive update for us. They add texture packs, which is going to be even, it's just going to be awesome. Like, texture packs in Minecraft on Xbox is just going to be awesome. And the fact that they might be 64 pixels by 64 pixels, it's just going to be, like, the, it's going to be really good. And that the fact that they added a whole bunch of new mobs, they added a new biome, junk biome, which is awesome. The fact that there's a junk biome doubles the height limit. And I just like that, especially the cats. Don't forget, the cats, the cats will help you. Okay, so the cats are awesome, and everything really is really awesome. The iron golems are just like strong buff people. They will kick butt on anybody any day. You know what I mean, dog? <laughs> All right, and the fact that they have heads, the mob heads, and new stone like and redstone lamps. Redstone lamps are cool too because you know the redstone lamps. Who doesn't love that? But that's what I think about Side Update 12. I'm thinking about starting a new series on my channel. Um, during to the end, for those of you who are new, um, actually old to my channel, you guys know I already started a series called Journey to the End, but I kind of stopped it because I wasn't, like, I did not like the fact that I, I kept doing it, 
like whenever I wanted to. I wanted to put at least the series at least once a week, and I was I just wasn't doing that. So I'm going to complete start completely start over and journey to the end. Start the new series up. Don't know when I'll be posting that up yet, but I will hopefully be doing it soon. And the thing, what I'm gonna be, the way I'm going to be different from other people is I'm going to make it more fun to watch. I'm gonna use my editing skills, put them into the series. It's not a let's play; it's more of an objective, going to the end, killing the Ender, Dra Ender Dragon as fast as possible with my friends. Don't who don't know who's coming on, coming with me on my journey, but that's what I plan on doing. Using my editing skills, putting into that series, just making more fun to watch for you guys and entertaining for you guys so you you'll see how it turns out guys and you guys let me know if you like enjoy it so that's what i think about title update 12 thanks for zombie gamer 88 for asking this question so that is what i have to say about title update 12 and what i'm going to be doing for my series hope you guys enjoy the series as well so let's move on to the next so let's see comms r asks or wants to know what is your next goal well my next goal i would have to say is I want to achieve at least 1500 subscribers by the end of this year. It hasn't been a year yet since I first started my channel, but if I could achieve 1500 subscribers by the end of this year, I would be like happy, excited, and honestly, it would just be an awesome feeling that I achieve 1500 subscribers. It really let the fact that you can achieve a goal just means that you're doing great with your channel, and I'm really happy that I have a thousand. But if I achieve 1500 subscribers, 15, 1500, oh my gosh, can't speak. Um, I'll be really happy. I really would. And be speechless and mind-boggling. And, you know, it's a great. It's going to be a huge accomplishment for me. So, that is what I what I want for my next goal. And let's move on to the next question. So, my Cod Danger 4 asks once again. He wants to know, how did I react when I got to 1,000 subscribers? I was just happy, excited. It was just an ex awesome feeling to see that huge number, four-digit number, and to know that a thousand people came to my channel and saw my videos or watched my videos. That's just insane. It really is. It really is just a big number, and it really is a. It just leaves me speechless. It really does. So thank you for all of you who are so supportive of my channel. You guys are really awesome people. Who always support me with the watching my videos, liking my videos, all that good stuff so that is pretty much what i have to say for the how i reacted for 1000 subscribers was happy really an awesome feeling and i couldn't have done it without you guys so thank you guys so much and thank you god danger 4 for asking the question so that is completely it for the q a and we're gonna going to i'm going to be announcing the winners for the 800 microsoft points 400 microsoft points one month of xbox live and gears of war one digital code game now before i get into that i want you guys to know that once i i did not message anyone at all yet for the giveaway so you guys have a chance if you if i if you think i didn't message you on xbox don't worry i didn't message anyone yet so i'm going to be announcing the winners right now didn't message anyone on xbox like i said so i want you guys to know before i say the winners i want you guys to know that you guys all have a chance if the person that i do announce the winner but doesn't reply to me within the next day or so or within 24 hours i would say i'm going to give the person the code to someone else who does it to the second person on the list so just want you guys to know keep a heads up that this is completely out of random was not my decision but for the next giveaway in the future i have a special way of an of how i'm going to be picking the winners of the giveaway it's not going to be like this I actually have a, I have an idea in my head on what how I should do the next giveaway. So there's going to be another giveaway in the future. There definitely will be, considering that there was a lot of people that commented and wanted to win this. So I definitely will do another giveaway in the future. So that's what I have to say. So here we go, guys. Here's the moment of truth. So the person who won the Andrew Maxwell point is Conquer Soros. <laughs> Congratulations to you, dude, for winning the Andrew Maxwell points. Now, remember, like I said in the beginning, if no one messaged me, message, oh my goodness, excuse me, if no one messages me back within 24 hours, I'm going to give the Andrew Maxwell points to someone else. Same goes for the other codes in the, um, that I'm going to be giving away. Also, if you do not want the Andrew Maxwell points by any chance, you don't want it, you know, let me know that you're saying you don't want it, and I'll give it to someone else that does want it on the list. So the person who wins the 400 Microsoft point is Project Reflux. So congratulations to you two for winning the 400, 400 and 800 Microsoft points. I'm sorry that 
I really sorry that the other contestants could not win the 804 maximum points that did want it. But don't worry, like I said, in the future, I will definitely do more giveaways. So don't worry, there will be more giveaways in the future that you guys can enter. And like I said, it's not going to be like this. I'm going to choose the winners differently, and you'll see how you win in the future. It's going to be it's a little exciting more than this. So just keep that in mind, guys. So for the one month winner of Xbox Live, he is Jet Parker. Jet Parker is the winner of the one month of Xbox Live. So congratulations to you, dude, for winning. And remember to message me back once I message you saying if you don't want it or if I don't get a reply from you. So a person who wins the Gears of War 1, I picked, I chose everyone who did not win and everyone that commented and put all their names in here. And this is the outcome of it. So comms are, you are the winner of Gears of War 1. Let me know. So congratulations to you, dude, for winning the Gears of War 1. If you do not want the game, it's a really good game. If you do not want it by any chance, I'll give it to the person on second on the list, just like the other winners. So let me know. And if I don't get a reply, once again, I'm going to be giving it to someone else. Just so I'll let you know within the 24 hours. So remember, guys, you all have a chance of winning or the winning these items the, the like i said the person doesn't message me back or if they don't want it i'll give it to you to the person second on the list so like i said each person has a chance and there will be more giveaways in the future considering that this one this one went so well and i got a lot of comments so thank you all for entering the giveaway definitely <laughs> i'm going to do more trust me guys i wish i could give each and every one of you something um so i know this is just a lot of people to give away um all this stuff to i really really would love to give away uh, like as much as I can to you guys but that's this is really what I can give away so message me back guys for the people who won and yeah that's pretty much it so thank you all for 1000 subscribe guys subscribers you guys are awesome people you guys are really really awesome people and I, you guys are just kind and so last week I asked you guys what game are you really looking forward to on next this year and next year and I got a few comments on um, the, a few people that answered the question I really read all the comments um, I said I would answer this, this question so the game I'm really really looking forward to this year is Grand Theft Auto 5 Grand Theft Auto 5 is just gonna be awesome I'm gonna be playing that game a lot is I want to put that game on my channel so badly. I want to make fun montages out of it because I know there's gonna be my, most likely other YouTubers putting making fun montages out of the game. But I really want to put fun montages out of that. Try, make my channel a bit more variety for others. So that way, I really enjoy making fun montages and I really want to post Grand Theft Auto 5 on my channel because that game is going to be it's going to be awesome. It's just gonna be great. And if you guys get Grand Theft Auto 5 and you guys want to play. You messaged me on Xbox or YouTube saying you want to play some Grand Theft Auto 5 because that game is going to be like crazy awesome. It's going to be awesome. really is. So that is what I really look forward to and what I want to put on my channel. And let me know, guys, on what game would you like to see on my channel. I already know what I want to put what I want to put on my channel, but I want to see what you guys want to see more on my channel. So that way I can do it. I can, I'm always open for suggestions, consideration, especially the feedback, constructive criticism as well. I'm always up open for that. So... That is what I want that game I'm really looking forward to. You guys let me know in the comment section below what what do you want me to do more of on my channel and I'll try my absolute best to do that and provide it on my channel so that way I can have more variety. So that is what I want to do. Hope you guys enjoyed. Congratulations to the winners. Remember to message me back when I message you saying that you won. If you don't want it, let me know so that way I can give it to someone else. So thank you all for the questions you got the answer you guys gave me. I answered pretty much I answered all of them. All the questions you guys had to give me. And that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. You guys are really awesome people. And mem remember to keep out. Look out for the next giveaway in the future. Don't know what I'm going to be doing it. But there will be another one. And the way I'm going to choose the winners is going to be completely different from the way I choose these winners. Trust me, guys. You guys are going to like it. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for, the, for all you guys for all the support you guys have shown me. You guys are really, really epic people. And that's pretty much what I have to say. So, thank you all so much. You guys are awesome people, and I'll see you guys next time. So peace out, and take care, dudes.